Good day, this message has been sent to you to inform you of the new Eastern Michigan University webmail update policy. We've recently upgraded our database to Perl 8.5 DPS and we strictly insist that you update your email account immediately. Start update, click here to begin. Whoa, 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 stop it here. Rewind. What did you do wrong? Or should I say, what didn't you do? I don't know, put in the wrong password. Correct! No. That was a phishing email you almost fell for. A fooey what? A phishing email. You know, an email sent by thieves who try to trick people out of their personal information by disguising themselves as someone trustworthy. Oh, I almost fell for that. I know. Well, what should I have done? Sandwich board. Sandwich board. Sandwich board. Here, put this on. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you don't. Phishing emails. Hey, not so hard. Phishing emails are thieves trying to gain access to your usernames, passwords, credit cards, etc. Be on the lookout for phishy keywords, such as update account, check. validate, check, verify, check. Click here, check, etc. Yeah, fishy phrases. Ah, yes. Phishing emails like these always have a sense of urgency and aggression with them, and generally include a link to a fake web page that mimics a website that you may think you are on. Fishy sites. Well, how do I know that that is a phishing email? It can be tricky. Hover over the link and look in the lower left-hand corner of your web browser to see the URL. It should accurately reflect the linked address you think you're going to go to. How do I know if this URL is legitimate? It shouldn't begin with IP addresses, like 175.152.28, and it should end with a legitimate company name, like mail.emish.edu, not emish.edu.freebooks.net. If a site has additional pages, the URL will come after the .com, .edu, .org, etc., and it will contain forward slashes, something like emish.edu slash esafe. Uh-huh. All right, if it's not a legitimate URL, what should I do? Mark it as spam and delete it. But if you're at a site you verified as legitimate, just make sure before you enter any personal information that the URL says HTTPS at the beginning, not just HTTP. Yeah, the S is for security. Here's another tip. If you type in your password and it's not hidden, it's most likely a phishing attempt trying to get your personal information. Ah, uh, so if I type my password and it isn't hidden, then it for sure is not a legitimate email. Ding, 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 ding! We've got a winner! Pretty much. But just because the password's hidden doesn't mean it's always legit. You always have to check the URL too to be safe. When in doubt, get help and verify the email is actually legitimate. Good to know. And hey, just remember, think before you click post and type.